Okay, going to try to show my garden here. It's been raining here this evening, so bear with me. I had to get out here and try to tie up some tomatoes and fix some broken bamboo stuff. But anyway, this is my cabbage. Just starting out with this littlest one. This little bitty tiny one. Put my foot in there for comparison. Yep, see there? That's the one that got bit. It's not dead, but it's bit. It's kind of like that tomato plant right there. That tomato plant was doing good. Something did something to it. I'm not sure what happened. But you can see it. this uh, stuff here, some of my uh, kale, it's, you can see bug bites on it. Bug bites are hard to keep off of some of these plants, really hard. But I've got some good looking cabbages. There's a good size head. I just went through and redusted everything. And here's some more cabbage. Cabbage. Got some huge collard greens over here. All of that end is collard greens, including a horribly eaten one right in the center there on that end. That's my cucumbers growing up around my teepee. At least that was a plan for them to grow up at. They're trying to grow out everywhere into the garden, but they're growing, right? That's what matters. So anyway, let's go around here and I'll show you. This is one of those little bitty pepper plants that I didn't think would do anything because they didn't grow at all hardly on the inside of the house. There's one, there's two, three, four of them. So all of these pepper plants, these are bell pepper plants, they're doing good. They're beginning to get some good bell peppers on them. This right here, this tomato right in the center, it's hard to see there with the it's just blurred into the background. But anyway, that tomato plant in that cage here, you see with all them blooms on it, that is one of the suckers that I transplanted, and it's gotten that big. So it's a pretty good size little tomato plant right now. Likewise, or even more impressive, is this one. This plant that's grow outgrowing this uh, cage here that I've got on it is... Uh, that one right there, it's going every which way inside that cage, but that is a complete sucker transplant. And if you didn't know better, you'd think that that was just a regular tomato plant growing there. Look at this. I don't eat that hot pepper that much. These are hot as far. These are just absolutely loaded with peppers. I don't know what I'll do with them. But they're just at, at one plant, it's absolutely loaded with it. Here's a piece of kale that got eat up by bugs just about. I had too much of this stuff, I guess, anyway. There's another cabbage head. And again, here's my cucumbers. And I see something hanging here on this one. That's a pretty good sized cucumber. I'm gonna pull him off of there. That's a pretty good cucumber. Now, if he's on there, probably others in there. I see one right there. I see two right there. So I'll have to start watching these. Because we're going to, have to start seeing more. But that's, that's a pretty good cucumber right there. It's young still yet. They get much bigger than that, of course. But here's a tomato in the cage. It's hard to tell this stuff when you're trying to view it on the camera. Believe me, I understand. There's one in the cage. Another one in the cage. And here's this big row of... Let me get back here where I can show them. Because some of these are up close to six foot tall especially when you get them tied up completely. But all that stuff on bamboos that you can see on this side of the corn, that's a wall of tomatoes there. And there's some, there's a bunch of tomatoes in there. This is another little tomato here. See how the vines are all curled up on it? Another tomato that got up almost to maturity. Well, it was that maturity the plant was and something eat it. Again, it's on the same end of the garden at that and that cabbage jar got hit on so anyway yeah this is this is let me see this plant right here I said this is six foot the top of this tomato plant here reaching above this corn it's every bit of five and a half and that's after I tried to pull it as gently as I could after it fell down show you something in here I spotted a while ago look at this tomato here I want you to see this right here. Alright, gosh, if I can get down in there to show it. Hard to get in there to show that tomato. 
But look what a big boy sitting down in there. Big old tomatoes. And there's lots of tomatoes sitting in on these. We're going to be tomato poor, looks like. But then again, of course, as I go around, you can see my barrier fence and electric fence, which I've got turned off now while I'm in here. But anyway, this is my two rows of corn and a tomato that's fell in there. I'm going to have to get out here tomorrow when it dries up and try to put more arms on the tomatoes. But I mean, there's like tomatoes all in here. They're just all in here. They're not hard to find at all. There's another little one, another one in there. Yeah, I got to get out here. That actually took over some of the corn. You can see where it fell over. That tomato still pushing on the corn. So I got to get out here. But this is my, uh, what do you call it? Peaches and cream corn out through there. It's about, this corn's about, this corn's close to six. It's probably six foot tall or higher now. It's got uh, fall beans growing in it so we'll see how that works out looks like on this little corn piece of corn the beans may take over the corn but those beans are growing right up in corn stalks so hopefully we won't have a tornado come through and blow everything down but anyway that's the corn and right in the center of the frame you might be able to spot that tomato's sticking up above the corn. It's unreal how fast these tomatoes have grown here when we got some rain. But anyway, I've got the tomatoes tied up at least for another day. There's another one hiding out down in there. They're, they're in here a lot. I just gotta get in here and there's that big boy right there. You can see him better from this side. I gotta get in here and get all my hooks and stuff back on here where these have fell over. But anyway, this is shooting from my eye height, you know, holding the camera up to my eyes. Again, that's a tall tomato. But anyway, I digress. It's a lot of tomato stuff. <laughs> but anyway, well, I'm gonna get this finished up here catch you on the flip-flop.